In this video, we are going to show you how to set up the light microscopes in the microbiology laboratory. This is a very important part of your laboratory practice, as you need to ensure that your microscope can achieve its maximum possible resolution so that you can view the microorganisms you'll be working with. We have a number of microscopes in the microbiology laboratory, and for the purposes of this video, we will set up the Olympus microscope. Any differences with the other microscopes will be discussed at the end of the video. First, let's plug the microscope into the power supply and switch it on. Underneath the power button, you will note a button marked Preset. Make sure this button is switched off before continuing. Set the light intensity to approximately 4 volts. Before we continue, make sure that the stage is at its lowermost position by adjusting the coarse focus dial. At this point, take a glass microscope slide and draw on it with a pen. We will use this to set the focus. Place the slide in the slide holder on the stage and move the slide into the light path using the X and Y controllers on the right hand side of the screen. Select the 10 times objective and raise the stage to its uppermost point. Then, whilst looking down the microscope, lower the stage until you can see something and bring it into fine focus using the fine focus dial. Let's review this process whilst looking down the microscope. As we lower the stage, we can see something coming into focus. Now it's very important to check that this is an item on the slide and you can do this by moving the XY controller and seeing if the image moves. In this case it doesn't, so we are likely focused on the glass in the objective lens. So let's continue to lower the stage. Here we now have another image in fine focus. If we move the XY controller, we can see the image move, so this is something on the slide and we can now move on to the next step in the setup process. Next, we need to adjust the eyepiece. All our microscopes are binocular, so you need to adjust the interocular distance until you can see a single image when looking down the microscope with both eyes. Once you have this distance, note down where the dot is located on the scale so you can quickly set up the microscope for next time. Next, cover your left eye and looking down the microscope, adjust the stage height until the image is in a sharp focus. Then, shut your right eye and use the focus controller on the left eyepiece to bring the image into a fine focus for your left eye. Next, we are going to close the aperture iris and the field iris. In the box at the top left, note what happens when the field iris is closed. We get a dot of light. This dot of light helps us to set the correct height of the condenser. Adjust the condenser height until the dot of light is at its smallest and you can see a sharp black border to your dot of light. After this, we want to adjust the path of light so that all light is passing through the condenser and into the objective lens. We do this by adjusting the thumb screws on the condenser until the dot of light is in the center of our field of view. When the condenser is focused and centered, Open the field iris until the black border disappears when you are looking at the image down the microscope. Now we need to adjust the aperture iris so that an appropriate amount of light is let through to the objective lens. Remove an eyepiece and you will see a dot of light. 
Open the aperture iris to expand this dot of light until it fills approximately 80% of the field. Then replace the eyepiece to conclude the setup process. You should work through this process every time you work with a microscope. Let's now have a look at the other microscopes we use in the teaching lab. The Zeiss microscopes have the same mechanism for controlling the field iris and for adjusting the height and light path of the condenser. The difference is that the aperture iris is controlled by a slider and this microscope has the option for doing phase contrast microscopy. Make sure the insert is pulled all the way to the left for using standard light microscopy. The Vickers microscopes are very similar to the Olympus microscopes. The only difference being that the aperture iris is controlled by a slider instead of by a ring. Finally, the Nikon microscopes are again very similar to the Olympus microscopes. However, in this case, the light path is controlled by thumb screws on the field iris instead of on the aperture iris.